Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review of set number 60074, the LEGO City Bulldozer. This set has 384 pieces and is ages 6 to 12. I got this set for my birthday, so if you want to check out that haul, you can do it in the cards now. This first minifigure is a female construction worker. Her pants are nothing special, they're just orange, and her torso is actually pretty neat because it looks like a torso I haven't seen before. It's like a safety vest torso with a tool belt all the way around it and like a hoodie, and it has some cool back printing to match. The head is a typical Lego City girl head, nothing special about it. The hair is pretty neat because it's like the construction worker hat and the hair is actually attached underneath. The accessory that comes with this minifigure is this sledgehammer. This next minifigure is the male construction worker and I'd have to say that he's the bulldozer operator. Again, nothing special with the pants and the torso is pretty neat because it's like the mining torsos from the old Lego City line. There is also back printing on this torso. The head, as I said, he looks a little grumpy and then he's got like water coming down from his face so he looks kind of sweaty like maybe he just did something wrong with the bulldozer. And this helmet's pretty neat because it's got room for the headphones. This minifigure comes with a jackhammer accessory. An accessory that these two minifigures shares is this wheelbarrow full of explosives. And as you can see, there's like this little timer on the explosive attached to the TNT. Because there's a wheelbarrow of TNT, there's also this warning TNT blast sign. There's also this part of a building here for the plate features of the set. As you can see, there's a green door at the front with this really neat little window. And then there's this big porch light. At the back here, there's kind of like half a wall and then just very dirt area. I'll explain the play features for this little part in a minute. The bulldozer here is where the real fun begins and I have to say this thing looks awesome. There is just so much really nice detail put into this bulldozer build. As you can see it's attached to the big machine in two different ways. It goes up and down and it goes front to back. Back here is this neat little detailing with these two big lights on top. We have one small sticker used there, and then a couple Lego bricks to look like they're like a little like a steam pump thingy. The treads here are definitely my favorite part of the set. How they work is there's these little wheels here on the bottom, and when they spin, and when the treads are on the ground, it actually moves the treads, like this. Moving from the treads here, there's this little platform where the conductor can stand, or the bulldozer driver, before he gets in the cab. He does get in the cab very easy, all you need to do is take the windshield and the roof off, position the minifigure so he easily fits in, and have at her. Inside the cab there's one chair as well as two little levers to move the bulldozer. There's also a back window with a back light so the driver can see what he's backing up into. At the back here there's this neat little thing and I'm not really sure what it's used for but it looks like big teeth and it looked like it could break rocks or something like that. There's also this chain and again not really sure what it's used for. There's also these two stickers on the back here. I hope you're able to tell from this video that there is a lot of really awesome detail in the set, but it's hard to show and explain all of it when I absolutely know nothing about bulldozers. As I previously showed you in this video, this little half house here thing, and I mentioned I was going to show you how it works. Well basically what you do is you position the bulldozer a certain way, and you knock down the house. Yes that's right, this is specifically designed so it easily comes up together and easily pops off for a cleaner break. Luckily this set only has a couple stickers, a total of 6 which is pretty good for a set with 400 pieces so I'm pretty happy with that. There are two instruction manuals in this set, one is quite a bit thicker than two so I'm not really sure why they just didn't make one instruction manual. Thanks so much for watching this review, I really hope you enjoy it, I had a lot of fun making this review and this is a really cool set and I definitely recommend it. Thanks everybody again for watching, I hope you have a great day, don't forget to check out my channel for other LEGO videos. Thanks so much for watching this BrickLover18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more BrickLover18, head on over to Brick BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Club. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.